Hi guys, it's me, Chanel Tin. Um, today I was going through my collection of makeup and I found a couple of products that I've been having from Hourglass and um, I decided to kind of create a look on this. I was looking online on Hourglass, I think it's HourglassCosmetics.com. Um, this was from their holiday collection back in December, winter, I should say. Um, it was a campaign poster, really beautiful, dark blue smoky eyes with a really pretty red lip. So um, I kind of decided to do a take on that today. So we're going to get started. On my face, I just have on my uh, moisturizer that I've been wearing lately, and this is just the Fair Minerals Purely Nourishing Moisturizer. It's one of their new ones. It's actually really good, very lightweight for all skin types, so it's really nice. Then I'm going to do the primer. Now, Hourglass Cosmetics, their whole concept and everything, it's fragrance free, it's paraben free, sulfate free, everything free. So it's um, gluten free and all that. So it's a really good um, makeup brand, also skincare brand. So it's a mix. So I really like it. <laughs> so enough of that. Let's get into the tutorial. I have on my hand the Mineral Veil Primer and also the Veil um, foundation in number six. So. so I'm going to start with the primer first. I'm just using the Hourglass number two brush. And I'm just going to stipple this on first. This is what you want to do with your primer anytime. And then I'm going to buff it out. And this primer feels like silk. my crazy hair out the way. Okay, now we're going to go with the foundation. Going to stipple it on first and buff it out. I want more of a light coverage, so I'm not going to use much of this product. And the thing about it, you don't need much of it. It's very potent. And I love that really beautiful satin finish it gives on the skin. I'm just going to take a little bit more. I'm just using a little bit. But I want most of the coverage to be in the middle of my face because that's where I tend to have a little bit more darkness. So look at that luminous finish that it gives the skin. I love it. Now we're going to go ahead and do the powder. I'm just going to take a little bit of the Veil Translucent Powder. And I'm just going to take straight from the top and do a light dusting over my face just to bring some of the shine down powder is very silky <laughs> I'm going to start off by taking um, the palettes I'm going to use I'm going to be using a couple of different palettes from Hourglass I'm going to be using the Cashmere Volume 6 palette. And it's one of these here. And the colors are like this, mostly from this one. Most likely I'm going to be using the black here. And then I was inspired from this little duo. This one is in Lagoon. It's the little one here. And the colors look like this. Sorry, I'm trying to open it. My nails are getting in the way a little bit. So these colors here. 
So I'm going to be working from those two. And actually, I forgot about this one. This one also, this one kind of crushed a little bit, but I'm going to be using a little bit of this purple in here. Purple brown color. I'm just going to take a regular angled brush, like a fine one, my bag of tricks over here. I found my brush, this is the angled one. I'm going to put it a little bit for my brows. I'm taking that purple plum color from that last palette, and I'm going to put this right on. Sometimes I change the color of my brows depending on what I'm in the mood for that day. But I'll still stay in that kind of brown blue tone. Look it up. Gonna kind of brush through them. I'm gonna take that really pretty blue on this side and put that over the eyelid. This blue is so intense, I love it. Now we're going to take a little bit of that black from that first palette, cashmere palette, this one here, and then take the black here. And I'm just doing an outer V shape right on the outer corner. I hear the rain outside. <laughs> Tomorrow's the first day of spring, and it's raining today in beautiful Southern California. <laughs> I really want to make this really strong, because in the picture, it's just very strong and dark and smoldering right here on the outer corners. And I'm going to kind of bring it up halfway. and bring it in. Now I'm going to take my blending brush and just blend that out. smudge that black right underneath the eye. I have a little bit of the blue left over on the brush. I didn't clean it because I still want that blue effect underneath here. Actually, I'm just going to go all the way around and connect it to the inner corner. I'm going to take the lighter shade of blue right here 
And we're going to pop that in the inner corner of the eye. Just to give a little lightness and brightness there. Now we're going to go back to the black using my blending brush here and I'm going to take the color and put it right here to kind of just make that a little bit more smokier. And I'm just going to blend it up like that into the brow. I'm going to take this lighter color here from that same palette, right here, and I'll pop that on the brow bone. And I'm just using the blending brush that I used, I just cleaned it, and then I'll pop it right on just to give it a little subtle highlight. My camera's picking up these beautiful colors. How pretty that is. Okay, now we're going to do the mascara. I'm just going to be using the um, Hourglass Superficial Lash. <laughs> and we're going to pop this on. I'm going to take a little concealer and just clean up underneath the eye. Crazy. Woo. We're gonna blend that out. So we're gonna take a bit of that translucent powder again, and we're just gonna set in that area once more where we put the concealer. I'm just using my um, stippling brush for this one because I want to have more of an airbrushed appearance. Okay, now instead of using traditional powder blush, I'm going to be using a lipstick as a cream blush because I still want to get that little shine going on here. So I'm just using Hourglass and Cherish lipstick. And I'm just taking my finger. I'm just going to pop this right on my cheek. This gives me just a little subtle color. I'm going to bring it up to the cheekbone again and just kind of seal it in a little bit with that translucent powder once again. Now we're going to take the lipstick and Icon from Hourglass. It's a really pretty red color. I'm going to pop this right on the lip. It's a very deep red wine color. Mm. I'm 
Bangladesh. All right, and there we go. So we have really intense smoky blue eyes here, really beautiful red lips. Um, <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, more videos coming soon. You guys go out and try the Hourglass. It is beautiful makeup. My skin feels instantly tight and refreshed right now. So leave comments down below. Let me know what you guys think of it, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.